This Focus on Health segment is brought to you by Aurora Healthcare. Hello and welcome to Focus on Health. I'm Ted Stefaniak. Today we're at the Aurora Medical Center in Oshkosh and we're in the Women's Health Care Department. Today we're going to be speaking with Dr. Holly Ray. We're going to be talking about some quality of life issues, especially for women who have decided they're finished having children and other women who are having trouble with heavy bleeding. Well, thank you for joining us today. Let's first start out by talking a little bit about how long you've been in practice here. I joined this group in November of 2012, so I've only been here about six months. And, um, but I've practiced uh, 17 years prior to that, so I guess you could say I'm seasoned. Yeah, <laughs> you've been around for a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> tell us about the scope of your practice. I do obstet obstetrics and gynecology, so I deliver babies, uh, do vaginal delivery, C-sections, manage labors, and um, office gynecology. I do office procedures and then I do uh, major procedures like hysterectomies and laparoscopies, that type of thing. I know uh, some of the other procedures uh, that, that you provide, um, sterilization, permanent sterilization. Yes. What, what's involved with that? That is a procedure called an ESHER. It's done in the office under a, just a local anesthesia. So we give you something to relax you, but we also give you a little bit of local around the cervix and um, there are no incisions. We take a camera, go up into the uterus, look at the tube openings and block them with a little coil that kind of plugs the tube. No hormones, no incisions. It takes me a couple minutes to do and you can watch me do it on the, on the monitor. It's pretty cool actually. And um, its effectiveness is the best thing about it. We, uh, the failure rate is the lowest thing out there, 1.6 to 1.8 per 1,000, which is really low failure rate with other types of birth control, uh, permanent birth control is uh, much higher. So we're, we're very excited about this and I do do a lot of these. I enjoy doing them, they're fun and they're good for the patient. Yeah. Uh, I would imagine though that's a pretty big decision for, for a woman to, to decide on permanent sterilization. It is, it is. And you'll, you would come in and talk to me first, um, usually one or two discussions before. Some women come in knowing that that's exactly what they want and there is no further discussion necessary other people kind of on the fence. And I, you know, I always tell people, if you have even a little bit of doubt, don't do this yet because it's permanent and um, don't consider it reversible. But if you, a lot of people will come in and say, I'm ready, this is what I need, so. Yeah. I mean, obviously uh, permanent sterilization, you're, you're avoiding getting pregnant. Are there other benefits to uh, sterilization? Uh, really, for this type of procedure, it is just for sterilization. Unlike the pill, it doesn't affect your periods, doesn't affect the cramping. Um, it's purely to prevent pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I know another uh, procedure uh, that you're involved in, ablation. Yes. What, what is that? Endometrial ablation is um, for women who have heavy periods. And it's an alternative to hysterectomy um, that's also done in the office. We um, bring you in like an office visit just like we would for the sterilization, um, give you local. And um, there's a device we use called a Novasure that goes into the uterus, opens up, and actually by radio frequency um, ablates or fulgurates, burns the inside of the uterus so that it can no longer generate a period. Very effective, very well tolerated in the office. Again, this is a one, one day out of your life versus six weeks for a hysterectomy. And, um, I do a lot of them as well. People are very happy with the outcome. Uh, an outpatient procedure, but are, are there any side effects to that? Um, there may be, um, we have a small failure rate associated with it. And I, I, I will sit down and go over those numbers with you when you come in, in terms of what to expect. Most people end up having just light spotting with their periods or no periods at all. Um, side effects, you may have some cramping that day uh, but most people are back to their normal activities, as with these, sure, next day. Mm -hmm. How about insurance? I know, uh, you know, money's such a big, big issue when it comes to any medical procedure, but, but does insurance take care of any of this? Yes. Um, the Affordable Care Act, which um, recently went into um, effect, is mandating coverage of contraception, and that includes sterilization. So um, you still need to check with your insurance company, but it seems to be covered by pretty much everyone. The ablations, the insurance company likes them because they're not major surgery and 
um, the um, time and the cost of the procedure is much less than a major procedure. Mm -hmm. So, if uh, if a woman is uh, considering any of these options, is it is it best to seek her primary care provider, or can they call you directly? They can call our office directly. Um, when you talk to the uh, front desk, let them know that you're interested in one of these procedures and we'll set you up for a consult. Yeah, and it sounds like uh, the majority of these procedures are outpatient. Yes, all yeah. outpatient, yeah. 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 And, and again, the, the time it takes, you know, these are these are very personal decisions. Absolutely. Um, I would imagine no pressure on, on the patients. It's just an opportunity to talk a little bit and, and find out, uh, answer any questions. Yeah, that see if you're a candidate. Yeah. Because not everyone is a candidate for every procedure, yeah. so. Great. Well, great information. We appreciate you taking some time with us today. Thanks for having me. Now, as we mentioned, these are very personal decisions. If you have any questions, you can contact Dr. Holly Ray at 303-8700, or you can contact your women's health care provider. I'm Ted Stefaniak, and we'll see you next time on Focus on Health. This Focus on Health segment has been brought to you by Aurora Healthcare.